This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Holly Brooks writes in and says, years ago in Mobile, I saw an old woman moon Jimmy Golden. What's the craziest thing a fan has ever done to you? I've had many canes broken over my back. Really? From little old ladies. Wow. You knew that. Remember I've told you the spider story about oh, yeah, 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 grandma yeah. and the Columbia. Mm-hmm. You know, I shot Ricky Morton out to right at her feet at the at the guardrail. And uh, I rolled out and looked at her and she looked at me. And as I bent over to pick up Ricky, man, I felt something whack. And she had stood up and broke her cane over my over my back and uh let's just say that uh getting a hold of ricky morton and getting him back in the ring became imperative i don't know why that's fun for me but little old ladies and canes and man that's old school that's good stuff well and it wasn't that random time i would say probably a half dozen over the years which may not seem like much but it's uh that's a lot of little old grannies. Well, I've, I've never been, I've never had a, not even one time has a grandma broke a cane over my back. So you've lapped me six times. Well, we should probably arrange for that. <laughs> I'm sure we could borrow a granny and uh, just see, let you see how that feels. Like 20 years from now, Aaron will probably do it for me. Uh, Sion wants to know what's Aaron's opinion on WWE studios. Uh, has he ever enjoyed any of their films? Real sweet question here from Amy who says, tell us more about granny. You told us a story once that she didn't like you buying a new car, thought that you should save or spend better. Was she smartened up to the business? Did she like you getting booed? what she you think about you being a bad guy? Um, I don't think that she ever really got that in depth on, uh, whether I was a bad guy or a good guy or, or actually, you know, I don't know that she ever watched me wrestle a match. She might've started out watching, felt like it was too violent, left the room. Um, I will just say this, uh, much like I had revered and talked about my grandfather and how he taught me how to be a man and look after my family and, You know, make sure you go to work every day and that you're on time every day and you're a dependable employee. And, and, you know, my grandmother was salt of the earth. She got up every day. She swept up, cleaned up the house, you know, cooked the meals, uh, did all the things that a housewife would. But the day I was born, and then I get this story from, from some people that would know my grandmother took me out of my mom's arms and took me back to their house with the simple knowledge that my mother was not ready to be a mother yet. And she saw that and decided she would take that duty over. Now she hadn't raised any kids in quite some time since my mother's a mother, an only child and I'm an only child. There was a pretty good gap there from the last time she held a baby. And from that day forward, she raised me. She was my mother. And uh, she did all the things that, you know, mothers do. And uh, she was the one that, that, you know, to taught me that uh, the better side of life, you know, so you don't always have to be a hothead, you know, always be honest. You know, always do do the right thing when a situation arises in your family or your friends or, or a stranger, for that matter, needs help, you know, help them. She was the kind or, you know, part of life. And uh, for her to have raised me and, and, you know, got me to a point where I could look after myself you know, out in the real world and uh, no one was better. And uh, if I could have asked for two better parents. I don't know how, uh, they were just too normal, very humble, you know, not a lot of money flowing through the house, you know, but there was a lot of love and, uh, 
my grandmother, along with my grandfather, were the two most, uh, probably the two biggest influences on my life as far as, now I did a lot of bad things growing up, but any good thing that I might have done or continue to do are a result of their upbringing. And I am very thankful to have been in that household when I was. They certainly didn't have to take me in. That's a great story. I appreciate you sharing that. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.